Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. It's a Wednesday night and when we do a video on a Wednesday night, we do something a little bit different. And this week we're going to review a piece of kit. I've been sent this. This is the Hohem iSteady X. It's a smartphone gimbal. Right, so I'm going to unbox it, take it outside and try it out and see what this bad boy can do. Now I've been on Amazon and checked the price and it's currently retailing at £89. I think it's gone up because it was £69 but it's £89 on Amazon at the moment. Now considering that the DJI Osmo Mobile 4 is going for £119 currently, it'll be interesting to see how this shapes up. I've had some, I used to have an Osmo Mobile and it was pretty good, I got some good uh, footage from it. So, very interested to see what the uh, iSteady X can do. I'm going to get this unboxed and then we'll, like I say, we'll go outside and we'll uh, try it out. See if, uh, we'll give it James and see what he can do there. See if he can get some smooth shots with it. Okay, always remember never to use a knife to undo a package because it could damage the goods inside. As I say, this is the Hohem iSteady. Currently on Amazon, £69. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. There it is. So let's get the bits out one by one. This little thing here on the right, that is a little attachment that screws in the bottom and um, it can operate as a tripod, which is quite good, I like that. I'll show you that again in a bit when we get out, out with it. Charging cable, uh, USB to um, USB-C, bit of an instructions there, and then here's the gadget itself. Now, I needed to give it a charge, and I had to download the app to get this thing uh, working. So you do have to download an app, and you had to register. I had to register my email, but to be honest with you, I think the DJI product is the similar. You have to download and get the app to get it working and to get the, the full the full use of it. So there is an app to download. That's it. I need to get my phone on it now, get it balanced up, and we'll take it outside. We'll go to uh, Heaton Park in Manchester. We'll do some running about and see how this thing fares. Right, so we're out, we're here at Heaton Park, our local park in Manchester, and we're going to try out this uh, gadget, aren't we? Yeah. The, uh, the iSteady. I might compare it to the, uh, the GoPro, because the iSteady is kind of like mechanical stabilisation, isn't it? The GoPro is digital stabilisation. Probably a bit unfair, really, but we'll just see how they compare to each other. So we need to find a nice little spot to have a bit of a run round, do some tests with it, and see how it, uh, see how it fares. Yep. Oh, and uh, have you noticed who's here? You all right? Yeah, you've not been for a while, have you? <laughs> <laughs> you let me down, haven't you? <laughs> well, I suppose you'll be wanting a brew. Yep, of course. So we've got a bit of a brew with us as well. Right, we've come to a bit of a field. Um, as you can see, the ice steady comes in its own little pouch, which is always quite nice. A uh, bit of a tight fit. Shove that down there. It's also got this attachment, which is if you put that on the bottom there, it acts as a little tripod, which is quite nice. You can put it down. So I'm going to get the phone on here. I'm going to uh, get it all balanced up, and then we're going to do a bit of running across the field and see what kind of uh, what kind of images it gives us, and then I'll review them at home and I'll tell you what I think. I will do the GoPro with it and we'll just see how they compare. Right, so I've set it up. It took a moment to sort of like balance it and it's took a bit of messing about in the app. But again, this is the first time I've used it. So it's took a bit of getting used to and to work out how to use it and everything. So I'm gonna run down there, run this way. I'm gonna run, run that way and then I'm gonna run backwards. I'm gonna run round, they're gonna use a front facing camera, the, uh, selfie camera and we'll see how it steadies uh, but at the moment because i'm not used to it it's a bit like trying to work it all out really but 
the, the test, the, the real test is when you review the footage afterwards. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is run with the selfie camera. There I am running. Now what you're interested in is the background. I'm shaking about, obviously, but look at the background. Quite smooth, that. Just moving, gliding away from us. Um, I'm now going to run with the camera facing forward, the front-facing camera. We'll take a look at that, see how that goes. And that's pretty nice. That's quite smooth. To say I'm running, there is a little moving up and down, but not much. Now recording on the GoPro, I'm going to run forward and we'll see how the GoPro stabilizes things. And then coming back. But with the GoPro facing me, and we'll see how that fares, and you might get a bit of a comparison. So the GoPro's like that. Gonna, it's recording now. I'll do the same run, ready? You didn't think I could run, did you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> running, 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 action shots. It's all action. So we're out here, turn round, and we'll go backwards and we'll run. And we're going to a sprint. Oh, he's running, he's running, he's running. <laughs> There you go. Right, let's do a side by side. I've tried to match up the shots as best I can, but you'll take a look at this. So there you go, side by side. <laughs> They're not perfectly matched, but you know, that's with the, the camera facing me. I think they're both pretty good, to be honest with you. The iSteady is probably slightly better. And there's, obviously there's a difference in picture uh, tone and everything. Right, so now I'm going to try out face tracking mode. So it's got a mode where it will, I can stand still. There's no, there's no way to put the camera. So I'm going to stand perfectly still. Just going to track James's face as he walks round. I'll show you face tracking mode. Right, so if you can see that, if you can see that on the camera, there's a face tracking, there's a square around James's face. Right, I'm going to stand still. You're going to walk round, walk round, slowly. Oh, it's doing it, it's tracking him. You see it moving round and tracking James's face. Keep going, keep going. That's not bad, that, you know. And come back. You see the camera going round as it tracks him. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty good. I might put that on the floor. Right, put it on the floor. Keep going there and see if it tracks my face. Right, watch this. Following me. Following me, come round with it, James. Following me, innit? Yeah. But if I go back the other way, it's not bad that, you know. That seemed to work, it did all right then. I put it on the floor, it's a bit of an unstable, uh, it's on the grass, and it's still got my face and it followed me round. That's quite good, that, I'm quite impressed. Right, so that's out here in the field. We're gonna go and try and get some arty shots over in the woods, little, the little wooded area, and see how it looks down there. Tired. Do you want to go to the woods? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you brought the brew? Of course. <laughs> right, right, we're going to have a brew. I brought the milk, <laughs> but all that reviewing of stuff of the ice steady has made us very thirsty and very tired. So we need a brew, don't we? Yeah. Right, get it out. No biscuits. What? You should have had ice. Oh, yeah, it's too warm for biscuits, isn't it? Yeah. We need ice, ice lollies. Play that music. <laughs> oh, decent milk. He's brought that. <laughs> You've not filled that one very much. Look at the state of that. I always do that with teas, thinking it's. Uh, once a tea bag comes out, you lose half your water, don't you? Yeah. When we're at work, you're very good at making a cough tea, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> he does it on purpose. If you ask him to make a brew, he'll make you a cough tea. Yeah, if you annoy me, I'll just make you a cough tea so you don't ask me again. What's a cough tea? He uses the coffee spoon in the tea, which is an absolute no-go. And it's evil, that.
Right, so I'm now going to send James running through the forest with the eye steady. And he, I think you just get a better impression sometimes when there's trees and things in the way. You can judge the stabilisation better. So let's get this boy running. Run, Fatty, run! Okay, so this is the footage we want. This is the iPhone 11 on the iSteady uh, steady cam. And to say he's trotting round, it's not bad that. He's jerking it about a bit, to be honest with you, but what we're interested in is the stabilisation. He keeps moving it from side to side, but it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I think we're, I think we're punishing this a bit, so hmm, let's have a think. As James just said, it's probably not meant for action shots, are they? No, it's meant for like beautiful scenery. You're walking about with it, you're all right, but for running. Yeah, we're probably being unfair because we're running around the woods and it wasn't really designed for that. As James says, it's probably more designed for like beautiful, steady shots. Uh, so let's try a beautiful, steady shot. Yeah, so I think it's more, I think we're probably punishing, punishing it really. It's more designed for your slow, nice moving shots. And it does, to be fair, it does a good job when you're moving slow. One of the things I do like about it, if you're filming for Instagram, press a button and it'll go into vertical mode like that. Press another button and it'll go back to horizontal mode. So that's quite useful. Um, quite a nice little product, to be honest with you. We did uh, pan it a bit because we were uh, running around with it and I don't think it's designed for that. Yeah. Uh, would you have one? The facial recognition thing's got. The facial recognition thing was quite impressive. If you were doing, I think Instagram, you can flip it, it's quite good as well. The Instagram flick, the uh, landscape to portrait thing, it was really good. Right, let's discuss a couple of things. Firstly, uh, one of the things I've realised in doing this video is that I'm not a very good product reviewer. Um, there are better reviews, uh, other people have done better reviews, but it's not what I do, is it really? Um, so I've done my best with this one there were some issues I'll get straight down to it right so you may notice on some of the clips from the that were filmed with the iPhone 11 on the Hohem iSteady were voiced over and that's because when I got home I uploaded the um, well I took the, the footage that had gone onto the, the the photos section on my camera I took it off put it on the desktop Worked fine, no problem. There was audio, I could hear everything we've been saying. I dropped it into my editing software and suddenly the sound disappeared. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? Looked at the editing software, made sure it was the latest version, all the rest of it. I suspect when you record sound through the app or you're recording with this thing on your iPhone through the app, it uses some kind of codec that my editing software doesn't recognize. So, I mean, you could say, well, you know, you should have tried this, Mark, and you should have tried that. Maybe you should have done this. I shouldn't have done anything because it should just work, right? I've recorded uh, videos with multiple different types of Canon cameras. I've recorded with Sony cameras, GoPros. Um, yeah, so it should just work. So this weird thing, uh, and if Hohem are watching, it was Final Cut Pro. When I took the footage and I dropped it into Final Cut Pro, the audio disappeared. So, for me, I mm, it's a big problem for me that. Now, all the issues that I'm going to mention were software issues. The, the gimbal itself, let me just go and get it. So there it is, the gimbal itself was brilliant. And just one thing I didn't, I didn't mention as well. You know when you've got the wide-angle camera on your on your iPhone or whatever you're using, this thing just slides to the side there. This thing, this part of it is constructed so it goes to the side and it tries not to get in the way of your wide-angle view. So the thought of a lot of things, um, you can. There's a little joystick on the on the front there, and I can operate it there. I can do that. I can do that. 
I can move it from side to side. Okay, so it really, it, I think it's great. Now, again, let me say a few things. The image stabilization on the iPhone 11 is very, very good anyway. So when you get that and you couple it with a little gimbal like that, you're gonna get some brilliant stabilized footage. And when I showed you that little clip there that was like the little artifacty bit with the tree trunks and we're moving round, when you do that with it, you're gonna get some beautiful smooth footage. We were running round, so we were punishing it and I was comparing it to the, um, the GoPro. Again, the GoPro, this, this thing is mechanical stabilization coupled with digital stabilization on the phone, the GoPro is using purely um, digital stabilization. And all the problems we encountered with it were just software issues. Um, so the, the sound issue I've just mentioned to you um, could probably be fixed with a, an update on the app. The other thing as well that, was, that I didn't like, I did a zoom. So on the side there, there's a little, uh, a little, see that thing there, you can zoom. So I can, I can zoom in like that. Now I'm doing it now, and as I look at it, it's doing the same thing. I'll show you the zoom I did in the woods. And as you can see, it's just glitchy. It doesn't do a smooth zoom. Now, am I being picky? Because to be honest with you, if I was, I wouldn't do a zoom with this. I would probably just move towards the subject and you get that lovely smooth movement. Um, so I probably wouldn't use the zoom anyway. <clears throat> but again, I think it's a software issue, could probably be updated in the app. So two things, they need to update the, the glitchy zoom, they need to sort out that sound issue when you drop it into Final Cut Pro. And that's just what I use, I know a lot of people don't use Final Cut Pro. Um, but it does a good job. It, in fact, it does a great job, um, but for me, I can't use it because of the, the sound problems. So if you're a member on my channel, I'm giving it away. If you want it, you can have it. Um, if a few of you want it, just um, leave your names. So I'll put, a, I'll put a, a post up tomorrow morning. You can leave your names and what we'll do is we'll draw names out of the hat and uh, you can have it. No, I'm not giving it away because it's rubbish. I'm giving it away because there's that particular issue for me and it's just a nice thing to do on the members section. So um, the Hohem iSteady, I'm going to give it a, a mark. We're going to go back to the woods in a minute. I'm going to give it a mark out of five and the mark is going to have to be based purely on its ability to stabilise the footage. The other little glitchy bits, I'll let them off because he sent it me for free. Um, but it's good price. I think, I think in terms of stabilization, it well matches the, um, the DJI product. Um, just a few little glitches. So let's go back to the woods. We'll give it a score. Um, and as you can see, I'm a crap reviewer. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> right, just before we go back to the woods, it's gone up. Uh, I was convinced this was £69. It's £89 as of the 9th of June. 2021 so there it is on amazon i'll put a link to it below in the description to this video but it's 89 pound now so i'm going to give it a mark out of five now if you think of being lenient with the mark don't even get me started on the glitchy software issues on the gopro 9 right it is renowned for them now i could do an entire video on the gopro 9 uh, about the glitchy software issues so if you think I'm mean lenient, believe me, the GoPro 9 uh, has software issues as well. Let's go back to the woods. Uh, the DJI equivalent is £120. Oh, is it? Yeah. So it's half the price? Yeah, the DJI Osmo. Uh, the Osmo Mobile, it's called, isn't it? I'd probably recommend it. Yeah, if you were looking for one. Yeah, if you were looking for a little steady... What, what dropped on my arm? <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for a little steady cam thing, it's not a bad little uh, thing yeah. to have, to be honest with you. Uh, but you need the app. Um, and a lot cheaper than buying a GoPro because we've been comparing it with the GoPro. Yeah. GoPro's what, 300 and odd quid. Um, Everyone has a smartphone now, pretty much. Yeah, if you've got they? a Yeah, so really, really, considering the shots you get, the steady shots you get, GoPro £329, maybe £379 for a nine. I think I'd give it, out of five, I'd give it four stars 
uh, but I would just, I would recommend it if you want steady shots. Yeah. Uh, but you're gonna have to work with it, get used to it, play about with it. Really, this is our first time using it. And so we've, we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we've learned a lot about that product. We certainly have. Anyway. You want to slap up meal now, don't you? Because every time we go out <laughs> filming, he thinks he then deserves <laughs> some kind of big slap up meal. Are you yeah. going to send me to a shit chippy? Um, you're good at picking them ones. Don't even ask about the chippy you took me to. Anyway, that said, thanks very much for watching. Take well, care. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye for now. I think we lost. <laughs>